All right, guys, I'm back. So I'm here at the haunted Camarillo State Hospital, which is now Cal State Channel Islands. It's a gorgeous day out. So I'm just gonna walk around and film. This is a bell tower. Across the street is a chapel. They're actually doing a protest. I might walk over to the chapel and check it out. But I'm gonna walk around show off some of the really active buildings hopefully and uh, I'll turn on the ghost to Vox app to see if we can get any responses from spirit so I think I have to go around. We'll see. I have to go around, which is fine. Oh, you know what? I can go down this hallway. So you can see a lot of the windows, um, the other windows, they had bars on them still. They're doing a lot of renovation. They're tearing down a lot of some of the older buildings. Some of the most active buildings, actually. They're going to tear them down and make them into dorms. I don't know if I could go down here. Yeah. I'm going to turn on an app here so soon. If you've never been here before, it's really freaking active. No matter what time of the day. It's a lot of spare, uh, swallows. So I'm going to do this. So that building right over there is very, very active. The criminally insane were housed. We'll get to that building. There's an actual courtroom in that building. So over in the children's ward and the women's ward, they're tearing down the buildings. Some people coming. I'm gonna turn on an app here in a minute. Going into this old building. That's where some of the dorms are. Some students out here playing basketball. There's cameras everywhere. <laughs> Trying to keep people out. A lot of people will break into these buildings to try to investigate. There's actually one of the buildings is open. I'm gonna have to peek in. Let's cut through there. This campus is huge. 
Just imagine all these buildings were housed with patients. Patients and staff. There's actually still the bowling alley here. I'll probably walk by that here in a bit. Okay, so this building straight ahead was used to house the criminally insane and there's actually a courthouse in that building. And that building has some really, really dark energy. Um, we were being tormented by a malevolent spirit. Here's some, this building also is very active. So, they just built this. A little pickleball court. This was just built. But that building is insane. A lot of people will not go in that building. They don't like the energy. A lot of people are afraid to go in that building. Students won't even go in that building if it's open. Oh, they finally put no trespassing signs up. So the courtroom is right on the other side of this wall. So you go down the hallway, um, then you'll make a you'll make a right, and then you'll be in the courtroom. It's pretty crazy. Here, I'll show you. I'll do a little peek inside. Yeah, it's just like a big purple room. It's kind of weird. They would use that for a holding area. Let's see if I could peek into the courtroom. So pretty out. No, it's all locked down. So this is where they would parking people. So they had a parking area for for people that were attending some of the uh, some of the proceedings for some of the inmates. Or I shouldn't say inmates. Some of the patients, and that was the entrance to the courtroom. Yeah, there's no way I'd be able to look in, but I'll go to one other spot. I just have to be careful in this area. Yeah, there's a cop right there. How much you want to bet he comes over and talks to me? I'll just have to stay on the sidewalk. They just don't like visitors. Yep, here he comes. Oh, he's actually not coming over. That's the thing, is he just never trespassed. I know I tried to open up that door, but I just want to see if it was locked. 
So normally it's open, but they never used to have no trespassing signs on any of the buildings. Looking in the reflection to see if he's pulling up behind me. Every time I come out here, I always get questioned. But it's pretty cool. This is all student housing. It's kind of crazy how. And the, um, the campus will deny that this place is haunted or has ever had a history of paranormal activity. There's a lot of videos. If you go on YouTube, there's a documentary. It's called Hotel California. It's on Amazon Prime. You can go watch it. I was sitting there on the other side of the building. I've been pulled up on walking along one of these and I was in the middle of the courtyard over by the fountain where I started. He asked me what I was doing here. There's actually a protest going on also. I'm gonna cut through here. Actually, I'm gonna walk by the chapel. See what's going on. You can still see all the metal bars up on the up on the windows. When you go inside the wreck area, if you look up on the roof, there's uh, actually bars up on the roof because it's an open rooftop. But there's actual bars covering the open areas. It's kind of weird, kind of sad. So yeah, you still see all the bars. A lot of these buildings are still empty or used as storage. See all the bars on the windows. The lower windows have exterior bars or reinforcing bars, I should say. So they moved all the patients back in the early 90s mid 90s up north to a Tuscadero. So the ocean is right on the other side of that mountain range over there. There's a military base there and Pacific Ocean is right there. So I'm about three miles away from the ocean. Maybe four. There's a lot of farmland around here. They actually have a dairy. Um, it was ran by the, um, by the patients. The, the barn, the main barn burned down, but some of the, the foundation, some of the structures are partially there. I could drive out there and take a walk, but maybe another day. I just came just to film because they're tearing down the children's ward in the the women's award I'll walk by there and film it it's down at the end of the road where that car is coming 
We're almost there. Yeah, I didn't really turn on the app just because I'm not. Can't get to any of the buildings. So I just don't want the extra chatter. I guess I could turn it on. It's another courtyard. There's cameras mounted everywhere. So I just don't feel like going down one of the courtyards and then the cops just up here thinking I'm trying to get into the buildings, which I'm not. But since I'm not a student here, they're going to start asking a lot of questions. Don't feel like dealing with that today. This location is just amazing. Just the energy here is still amazing. Oh my God, there's big ass camera. They just have, they monitor this campus like crazy to keep investigators out because <coughs> so many people have broke into these uh, into these buildings to investigate so this is where I started there's a, uh, a protest going on Here's the chapel. Um, I don't know if I should walk over there. See, they have it all gated off now. So, does this look familiar to anybody? That brick? It was in some movies. empty yeah there's a camera up there up on the roof it's just crazy all right let's go down to the other area where some of the old Some of the more active locations. I can take you over to where the morgue was. The morgue is now the library. How's it going? Good. The library is pretty pretty big. But yeah, that, that whole building used to be the morgue. So I can't see if anybody's put posting any comments. I can't see it. It's just the glare. It's just bright out here. I should have brought my my gimbal and put it on my phone. This was kind of like last minute. Or else I just threw my phone on a gimbal. 
Sorry if the camera is bouncing a little bit. I'm trying to keep it steady as much as I can. I'll see if I can get a glimpse at some of the bars that are on the roof. It's warm out here. It's a nice day though. It's a little bit of a breeze, but I would say probably about 75. So you'll see these all over the place. They're posted everywhere. And you'll see cameras everywhere. Like I said, if we start walking through some of the courtyards, cops will definitely come up behind you sneak up on you in their car you'll just hear a voice and you're like oh my god how did they sneak up on me like that <laughs> we're here for, uh, doing a photo shoot we were asked what we're doing here I just showed them a bunch of footage and then they just kind of left us alone we weren't going into buildings, we were just taking pictures of the buildings. Alright, so now we're on to some of the most active locations. Just gonna peek in. So all in here. That's a women's door. That's where it starts. Then it wraps around. Wraps around to this side. The men's ward is up on the second floor. Let me see if I can see some of the bars. It's over here on the corner. Now this is where they will arrest you for trespassing if you go beyond this gate. That's why I said I am not going into any of the courtyards because if they get it on film, I'm done. Oh, they tore them out. So this is sad. So up on that wall, you can see some of the bars. Oh, there you go. So all those bars there, that's like an open area and where the bars are. So up on the roof, there's also bars um, covering that roof area. They use that for a field office now for the construction. Thought that was a cop coming up behind me. 
I know I might sound a little paranoid, but the cops here are ruthless. So all of that is part of the children's ward. Those were some of the offices for the nurses. I'll have to tell you guys a story about what happened in the, there's a hallway. Um, at the, at, there's another hallway that connects us to another building. Something happened in that hallway. It's pretty trippy. So, yeah, this is sad. I feel sorry for whoever's gonna be in these dorms. They're gonna have so much activity in these dorm rooms. They are not going to be happy. Who's coming up behind me? So, you can see they're attaching onto some of the old, that's part of the children's ward. So they're ripping part of that building out. Now granted, there was a lot of asbestos in there, so that's why they closed down a lot of this. And right here, where this building is, there used to be a, a theater that they would have screenings for the patients. Yeah, right here was the theater in that building. So yeah, this is pretty sad that they're doing this. I'll walk you on the back side of the children's ward. And now there's a nursery school over here also. Or it's a daycare. Hey, what's up? Now I can see. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm like out in the middle of the boonies, so it's um. There's really nothing out here but farmland, so I'm not surprised. So here's the back side of the children's ward. And see, there's a preschool. An active preschool, ironically connected to the children's ward. I'm hot. You can go up on the website and check out their preschool. Enroll your kid in a haunted preschool. Sounds like fun. <laughs> I said I am not walking through the courtyards just because of all the cameras. There's some more student housing. 
and I'll show you the library. So that big building is the student library, which used to be the morgue for the hospital. One more stop, then I'm going to take off.